Dr. Sean Breen and I'd like to welcome you to my website. I'm assuming that many of you watching this video intuitively feel that something is off with your thyroid gland. You may be gaining weight and struggling to even lose a few pounds. Your energy levels are down and you're fatigued throughout the day. Many of you are always cold, specifically you have cold hands and cold feet. Some of you are struggling with brain fog and having difficulty focusing or concentrating. Many of you are just sad and you know it's not clinical depression. You may be having thinning eyebrows, your hair may be falling out, your skin may be dry, you may complain of having brittle nails, and you may be constipated. And each one of you went on your computer, Google searched your symptoms, and the entire first page of Google was dedicated to websites about hypothyroidism or low thyroid. Convinced your symptoms are your thyroid gland, many of you have gone to your doctors and asked them to check your thyroid levels only to be told that your TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone falls into the normal reference range. Many of you are told that you're just getting old or you need to exercise more or you need to eat cleaner and get more sleep. And although that may be true, I'm here to tell you that for the majority of you, it is in fact your thyroid gland. I've taken care of hundreds of patients with your exact same story and within weeks of starting them on thyroid, they feel absolutely amazing. Two months ago, a 48 year old woman named Joanne came to see me. She had gained 80 pounds over the last 10 months and had no energy. Her doctors had convinced her it was depression and started her on Paxil and told her to exercise more. When I checked her thyroid hormones, her free T3, which is the metabolically active hormone, was completely bottomed out. And within weeks of starting her on thyroid, she started to feel much better. In over six weeks, she has lost 18 pounds and we've successfully weaned her off Paxil and she's felt better than she has in years. You see, doctors are trained to look at labs as black or white. Either you're in the normal range or you're outside of it. And if you're anywhere in the normal range, you don't warrant treatment. What I want you to understand is that normal is just an average for people your age. And when it comes to the thyroid gland, I've seen patients with a free T3 as low as 2.0 or as high as 4.4. And yet, no matter how good or bad they feel, they're all considered normal. There are good medical studies show that bringing the thyroid into the optimal range not only improves symptoms, but does things like lowers cholesterol, improves the functioning of your heart, your digestive system, and even your mood. When it comes to testing your thyroid, doctors are trained to look at something called TSH, which stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. The problem with TSH is that it's not the metabolically active hormone. T3 is, and until you know your T3 levels, you really don't have an idea of whether or not your thyroid levels are optimal. I've seen a lot of patients in my practice who have perfectly normal levels of TSH, who when you check their free T3 levels, they're actually low or even deficient. Just last month, I had a 37 year old woman come into my office, complaining of losing her hair in clumps. She had gained 15 pounds of weight. No matter what she did, she couldn't lose the weight. Her energy levels were also down, specifically around two to three in the afternoon. And she went to her doctor who checked her TSH levels and they came back normal. However, when I checked her free T3 levels, they were 1.8, which is considered deficient. And I immediately put her on thyroid and within five days, she started gaining all her energy back and she actually lost four pounds of fat. When it comes to treating thyroid, many patients have started on something called Synthroid or Levothyroxine, which is T4. And for many patients, they do great. However, I see a lot of patients who don't do well on Synthroid and that's because they don't convert T4 to T3 well. And as a result, their T3 levels remain low. Now recall that T3 is the metabolically active hormone. And this conversion of T4 to T3 can be blocked by things like stress and high cortisol. It can be blocked by mineral deficiencies like selenium. In my practice, I typically use something called compounded desiccated thyroid, which is a combination of T4 and T3. And by using that, we ensure that patients achieve optimal levels of both T4 and T3. Look, right now I know that you're suffering and you're looking for the right doctor to help you. And I'm excited for you because within weeks of meeting with me, I know you're gonna to start to feel great again. The first step is to pick up the phone and speak to one of my patient coordinators so that they can get your blood work tested. Again, I'm Dr. Sean Breen, board certified in anti-aging and functional medicine and an expert in treating both men and women with thyroid disorders. I look forward to meeting with each of you personally. Have a great day.